We have vitamin B5. Pantothenic acid. Pantothenic acid. This is one I wouldn't even know if I was pronouncing it right, but if you could spell it. Vitamin B5. The chemical term for this, 3,2,4-dihydroxy-3,3-dimethylbutanoil amino propanoic acid. Now the propanoic it would be the three carbons coming on one of the sides of the nitrogen. So the nitrogen is going to split up the naming scheme here. But look at this. You've got the carboxylic acid tail. This could go into the water. You've got a ketone, double bonded oxygen here. You've got an alcohol here. Two methyls hanging off here. You've got an OH alcohol hydroxyl on the end. This is one of your vitamins, right? Vitamin B5, panto, pantothenic acid, which would be ionized again. They call it pantothenate. Pantothenate. This has a lot happening on it. For a straight chain carbon, you got a nitrogen in the middle, split it up. We got propose three on one side. So one, two, three carbons there. One, two, three, four on that side. So that's where the but comes from. Butanol, butanoil, O-Y-L. I don't know what that means. Double alcohol. So can you see the way these pieces would come together? You've got a delta plus on that carbon. You got the nitrogen with a negative with the lone pair of electrons. So what do you think vitamin B5 is used for? Let's see what it says here. Pantothenic acid is a water-soluble vitamin required to sustain life, which means it's an essential, essential nutrient. It's needed to form coenzyme A and is critical in the metabolism and synthesis of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. So when there's an enzyme involved, this is going to be part of it. In chemical structure, it is the amide between D-pantoate and beta-alanine. So beta-alanine is what you're seeing as the amino acid. It is commonly found as it's alcohol analog and it's a provitamin, calcium pantothenate. So this would be fun. Look up some of the enzymes that this is used for. That's what I'm going to do. Vitamin B5. There it is. One more tour here. Pretty cool. You got an alcohol on the end, two methyls hanging off the next carbon, alcohol here, ketone double bonded oxygen there. You got the nitrogen. Oh, and then you just got a boring carbon and another carbon. Then over there, carboxylic acid. That's some happening chemistry there. Pretty cool looking vitamin there. Vitamin B5. Vitamin K. Now this one's kind of neat. Again, the color coding comes in because we see Ben's face here, benzene. He's like always working. That's why I gave him that look like, oh, I got to do more here. Well, you're a vitamin, dude. Vitamin B, vitamin K is used for blood. So you look at here, you got this aromatic benzene. Here you've got a carbon six-membered ring again with a double bond down here. These O's hanging off here. We're going to see that this looks a lot like another vitamin. The ring got open. You got a carbon off here. Do you see that? That carbon could almost kick up around and form three rings, but it doesn't. Here's the isoprene I was talking about where it gets its name. Five carbons, but there's a double bond to a methyl hanging off here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Start over. One two, three. This is the middle part of it. If you came in here, one, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four. Well, it was pieces of an isoprene anyway. So to draw this in a way that we can remember, have more fun with it, kind of looks like a cricket with a long leg, doesn't it? So vitamin K. I think these are useful little things to remember cartoons by.